Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I am so excited to get back into things and I pray that your holidays were filled with health and happiness and wonderful family time and joyful celebration of our Lord's birth. Here in January, we have two lessons for Family of Faith. They are Lesson 6 and Lesson 7. And we begin our deep dive into the commandments. Um, in Deuteronomy, we read that, I have today set before you life and good, death and evil. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I am giving you today, loving the Lord, your God, and walking in his ways and keeping his commandments, statutes, and ordinances, you will live and grow numerous. And <clears throat> God gave us the commandments as a gift, as a way for us to live so that we can live in accordance with how he has created us to live. And of the Ten Commandments, we we know that Jesus gave us the two greatest commandments. In Matthew 22, 37 through 40, we read that the greatest commandments is to love your God above all things and to love our neighbor as ourselves. And these are the two greatest commandments. And we can, and what we will learn as we walk through this journey is that the first three commandments um, are geared toward um, that first part and that's, how we serve and love God. So the first three commandments are how we serve and love God. And then the other seven commandments are how we love our neighbors. And so in lesson six, we will dive into the first three and loving God. And then in lesson seven, we start looking at the fourth commandments and that's um, loving, which begins loving our neighbor. Um, Please keep in mind that the first three commandments are a set of laws that give us definitive and concrete guidance on how to act with our relationship to God. And so I really challenge you this month in finding how you can serve God as he calls us to serve him. And then in lesson seven, we really talk about um, the fourth commandment, which is loving, um, which was obeying our parents and how that obedience doesn't just pertain to our moms and our dads, but also those in authority. And so I would encourage you to, in lesson seven, to do activity three and four. And activity three and four is writing a thank you letter to those in your family and thanking them for their gift to each other um, within your family, but also activity four, and this is for you parents, um, for a parental blessing and bless your children often throughout the month. That's part of our baptismal promise to our kids. So I, that's really what we get into this month. I'm really looking forward to our Family of Faith Fellowship this Saturday. Oh my goodness, we're already into January. Um, we will have chili, hot dogs, uh, I call them chili Frito pies. I don't know what anyone else calls them, but we'll have a lot of fun and I'm going to have some balloons and we're going to throw a birthday party for Jesus. Uh, I might be a little belated, but I think we'll all have a little bit of fun. Um, another reminder is that students who are participating in Family of Faith for their confirmation catechesis, um, please be mindful that you are still to continue coming and participating in our Family of Faith events. And I'd encourage you um, to continue that engagement through the year. And let's see here, our, the Sanctity of Life Mass is on January 26th at the Cathedral. Please look at the bulletin and read online um, for some more information if you're able to attend the Sanctity of Life Mass. And so, as always, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out and to let me know. And I am really looking forward to seeing you on Saturday. Have a really blessed day and a wonderful month learning about and walking with our Lord.